The International Space Station has floated above our heads for 25 years, hosting astronauts from around the world and advancing scientific discovery. But it's getting old and it's set to be decommissioned, and that's happening in 2030, when it will be steered back down to Earth to crash into the Pacific Ocean. Sky News science and technology reporter Mickey Carroll has more on the race to replace it. Drew Fustall has already been to space three times. Now he's part of a team attempting to change the way we operate up there. 25 years ago when I began as an astronaut, I never imagined I'd be working through and right at the center of what's happening right now. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. For a quarter of a century, the International Space Station has hurtled around above our heads, hosting astronauts from all over the Earth. But it's getting old, and by 2030, the space station will be brought crashing back down into the Pacific Ocean. The race to replace the ISS starts this year in earnest. We call ourselves competitors. Uh, <laughs> we were all colleagues and, and uh, you know, working at NASA together. A number of companies are competing to replace the space station. One of them, VAST, will send up the world's first commercial space station this year, hoping to prove to NASA it has what it takes. We've really tried to learn from uh, our experiences on the ISS and make those and enhance those facilities and features and sort of integrate them from the start. But even though they'll be first, the competitors aren't feeling the heat. We're working to our own timeline. Uh, our, we don't feel the need to go demonstrate systems that we know work. Marshall Smith spent 37 years at NASA before becoming the CEO of Starlab, another company competing to replace the ISS. So I was around when, when, we, when we built Space Station. You know, I remember when we put the last piece up, I was in a conference room and somebody said, somebody said, okay, what do we do with it now? <laughs> it wasn't designed from the outset of, okay, we're going to do all this research. These companies say that's the difference between the ISS and what comes next. All of these new space stations are being designed with science in mind and making money. Some will sell tickets to space for tourists. Others will focus purely on commercial science. But there are concerns that if you ticket access to space like this, it could just turn into a rich person's playground. Actually, I think the more commercial space stations we have, the more accessible it becomes. That was the way airplanes were when they first started. You know, only only the rich could afford to go uh, travel on an airplane and things like that. But now everybody can go anytime they want. Just one Brit, Sir Tim Peake, has stepped foot on the ISS. Will this new glut of space stations take more of us up into the great unknown? Mickey Carroll, Sky News.